Hello everyone. So today I've come up with a very sensitive topic which is going to be very useful for the parents who are planning for divorce. and once you come to the next age group starting from 18 months to 3 year old here your children are toddlers they are busy asking questions and they are busy playing and exploring the world and this children also start believing that maybe i am the reason why my parents i didn't behave well and this kind of confusion may be there in their head when they may doubt themselves so and they may they may not cry at this point but they show lot of you know anger and upset behavior and they may show symptoms like you know uh, having lot of nightmares and resisting to go for toilet training and also they may not sleep well and they may get lot of insecurities and hold on to their parents and all these problems they may go through uh, during this age group so during this age group what parents can do is to as i already told it's important to diverge in the information but again depending on the age group and be very truthful and honest with your children we can't say lies even to this age group also because once a child finds that you are inconsistent and you are not speaking the truth the trust is lost so we need to be open and honest but you need not divulge into lot of details to your children especially it starts the conversation starts from 3 years onwards only but then this particular age you need to again give them the routine and certainty that one of the parents are going to be there with you will take care of your needs that reassurance and making them to talk about their emotions or at this age we can exp- make them to express their feelings in terms of arts or drawings that is very important and when it comes to the next age group let's say starting from 3 years until 6 years of age this is again a, a stage of confusion so there the children gets more egocentric and you know just say that uh, the parents has to live together you got to live together i don't care what problem you have you have to be there for me and they become so uh, self centric or you should say selfish in the way that you should not get divorced what come may you both have to live together and they start getting resentment and anger feelings towards their parents they start crying a lot so they all this kind of symptoms can be seen in this age group 3 to 6 year old uh, children again parents are the major tips for all the age group is to make please understand the certainty is lost for the children we don't tomorrow what's going to happen who's going to take care of me who's going to take me to the school all these are the questions and who's going to take care of my emotional needs so for all this the certainty stability is very important and don't ever let them to take you know the, the choose your to choose the parents so lot of parents do this mistake of saying are you going to live with mama or papa so please don't let this kind of decision to be made by your children this is very 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 toxic for them to having to take sides and you know appease one parent and be angry because they may even like the other parent just because they want to be close to you they had to say lot of negative things so this is going to cause lot of mental trauma to your children whatever conflicts and problems you are facing you as i already told you and reemphasizing again you just have to keep it to yourself if it is not possible you need to consult a psychologist to see how to handle your emotions so once this age group is passed and then we we can f- focus on the next age group that is from 6 to 10 years at this age it's very crucial because now they start going to school and uh, they they start focusing on their friendship and all this and they start focusing on their extracurricular activities and they join many clubs where they one of the parent may be dropping them so this news is going to come as a shock for them and uh, they have this sense of abandonment feeling here and they get as usual aggression anger but at this stage they don't show it up a lot and they are convinced that they are the reason and parents don't love them anymore they may even ask questions like i am going to behave very well please don't leave me so these are the things they start thinking about themselves where did i go wrong why did my parents leave so a lot of reassurance and uh, the the parents have to make them to express their emotions give that environment and encourage questioning because children are afraid to ask questions to you because they don't want to hurt you so they keep the feelings to themselves and if they are quiet and all that we can't assume that they are fine suddenly the child withdraws this is a red flag because as long as they cry or show tantrums that is also fine to a certain extent but they withdraw and become silent this is a negative sign which the parents have to address immediately 
now a lot of extra support love and affection and reassurance that i am going to love you and both mamma and papa are going to be present in cases where you both can be present and when your parent when your custodial parent is going to come and see you and make sure there is a lot of stability and control you can give it to your children let's say every weekend your custodial parent is going to come and pick up make sure it happens on the same time only then you could your child could feel a sense of uh, you know certainty and control and stability and starts accepting okay i'm not going to lose anything and everything here after all i'm just going to adjust to this environment and now i could see less fight so this is the kind of positive environment where you could you know encourage the your children to speak up and talk about their feelings it's very important but if your child is so small and not very expressive as i told you art therapy or you know allowing them to do some drawings and you know making them to label their emotions by showing pictures are going to be very very useful so now we are going to discuss about the last stage that is from 10 years onwards 10 years onwards until the pre teens and the teens so how you are going to handle at this age group is very important as well because at the, this age group the children are trying to understand from their parents perspective what is really wrong even some children start advising one of the parent that you should leave your spouse so they get some sort of uh, relief also because of the divorce because they would be witnessing their fight right from their childhood and they feel that one parent is not available most of the time and they feel that all this can come to an end because of the separation and they try to get some understanding but this develops as a child becomes more of a teen so but then when there is a pre teen or the beginnings of 10 and 11 years of age still the child would feel i am responsible for the same like you know we talk about the younger age group as well and they have lot of doubts and questions and all these things have to be again answered by the parents the parents have to be very patient to answer their questions in a more honest way possible and give them the space to uh, uh, you know answer all your uh, questions and deliberations and emotions everything has to be brought out only then the child will feel okay fine i'm getting some clarity now and then Uh, usually the school children undergo some school uh, problems as well academic problems their academic uh, things go down they they may get low grades or they may have undergo some other issues like they start to do self harm all this kind of issues also parents have to look for look out for in this particular age group so because children can make some sense but still they they'll feel a deep sense of grief and bereavement and you know sense of loss as if something is really taken away from them especially if the parents were very good and they had a very good family and now that's not going to happen and about the financial issues they're going to face and what are the perks they're going to lose and what is the kind of different family environment in certain cases the children has to uh, you know even transfer uh, transition from one city to another maybe they are going to a village because of the separation all this and our the friends group has to be changed now this kind of uh, diverse in this age group is going to have a lot of social impact um, compared to the emotional impact as well so parents have to ensure that uh, they are going to enjoy all the perks they are going to be a part of the social group and they are not going to lose anything all this kind of need satisfaction has to be reassured to your children at this age group that is very important a lot of genuineness and you know to spending lot of quality time even quantity time and also introducing them to a more of a, a different adult group or introducing them to a new play group and uh, engaging them in more extracurricular activities all these tips you can uh, you know you can definitely start using with your kids to give them a stable life and during the teens the children start getting some sense and they also feel relief but at the same time they also have issues about how the disciplining process is going on and all that so in that case the parents also have to form uh, have a firm disciplining at the same time make sure your negative emotions or distress does not have any impact or you know a uh, poor emotional impact on your teens because teens are the ones looks like they may not be affected but this divorce can have a major impact on their uh, um, attitude towards relationship attitude towards men or a woman about what is especially going through in your household so lot of education and a lot of time to be spent with them to make them understand that this is not your fault at the same time these are the issues and we are having mutual separation and this is going to be for the greater good so on the whole to summarize this divorce is going to have an impact which is inevitable and you know what are the kind of symptoms and red flags to look out for because generally children will feel anxious aggressive all these other usual reactions sad but more than that 
any symptoms like you know uh, self harm or academic uh, grades going down or drug dependence or a poor fr- toxic friendships they are going resorting to and uh, sudden different habits all the something which you need to look out for and sudden withdrawing from friends if they are getting more clinically depressed so if you find any distress signs in your children it's very important that you attend or take them to a psychologist and get help immediately as immediate as much as possible very soon so it is very important and lastly the parents who are going through the divorce process you yourself need lot of self care because you may be undergoing lot of turmoil trauma i know it's a tough decision for you first of all you need to take care of yourself and after all you need to take care of your mental health and be at peace and harmony only then you can take care of your children so it's very important that you also get some clarity out of this divorce by going for a counseling or going for some help self help strategies by going to resources and parents also can read give them the books to your preteens uh, about lot of books are available nowadays to talk about the divorce process and uh, you can you know give that kind of books even uh, for the age group of 6 i would say and you know you can just give the book for them to read and then sit and clarify and let's talk about it let's start a conversation healthy conversation about what have you understood about this what have you read about this process so make sure that you are always approachable and also you should not spread any negativity about the other parent as well so these are the things the impact we have discussed in this video we also discussed about what are the healthy way of coping with this divorce process and how you can help your children right from the the children who are born until the teens how to handle them in this different age group and you know make this transition smooth and for the greater good so i hope this video is of greater use for people who have already uh, decided about this divorce or separation for whatever reasons and i also i already told please think about these criteria before you could separate with uh, no take your call on separation or a divorce process because many people stop the divorce keeping children in mind so i don't want to give a, a negative message thinking that okay you can handle your children so you could go for divorce always marriage is something a relationship is something which you need to you know always keep it safe and protect it only in certain situations when it is not at all possible despite trying hard then this this is going to be the decision and solution then how to cope up, cope it up is the only thing we are trying to i'm trying to deliver in this video i hope this video will be of use to parents who have children in various age group do spread this news and please follow all this uh, tips and if you really cannot follow this tips because of your own emotional turmoil what you're going through and your stress get help from a psychologist and then you have to definitely take care of yourself to and not feel guilty about this decision in future so thank you for watching this video and uh, let me catch you again in an interesting video in future all the very best have a nice day bye